Hello and welcome back. And in this video, I'll show you how to make Peter Lynch's Peggy ratio in Google Sheets or Excel. Okay, first let's take a look at this ratio. Investopedia says the price to earnings growth and dividend yield PEGI ratio, also known as the dividend adjusted PEG ratio, was created by famed investor Peter Lynch. By creating the PEGI ratio, Lynch sought to improve upon the PE valuation metric most investors use when trying to determine the value of a stock. Lynch believed that in order to accurately evaluate the opportunity a stock represents as an investment, the investor should also factor in the stock's future growth prospects and dividend yield. The PEGI ratio includes both of these factors and is a metric investors use to identify undervalued stocks. So for the PEGI ratio, we're looking at a number that is less than one, but greater than zero, because less than zero says that they have no earnings. And that if a number is between one and zero, then it represents a potential investment opportunity and indicates that the stock has high dividend yields or potential growth and is currently selling at a bargain price. And Peter Lynch mentions this ratio in his book, One Up on Wall Street. Definitely a recommended read if you are a value fundamental investor. All right, let's head back to Google Sheets. And the first thing we'll do is open a new sheet. We'll start with our variable cell and we'll throw AAPL in there. And this is Peter Lynch's Peggy ratio. And we'll combine these cells and center it. And we'll make this bigger. 14 and blue. Too bright and blue. Okay, and for cell A2, we'll go index FMP quote to A1, one close parentheses, two, two. Looking at the second row, second column. Here we're going to leave cells three through five blank. And we need our formula. So we'll go back here, grab this. There. For A6, we'll go PE. We also need our dividend yield. And we need our EPS next year. Peggy ratio will go down there. Okay, so for our PE, we're going to scrape this from Finviz. And so for this, we're going to say if is blank to A1, and we'll make that constant, putting dollar signs around it, substitute index, import HTML from Finviz, back to A1, or pulling from table nine, row one, column four. And the star in blank just helps return. It's a blank cell. And at the very end, we're going to say plus zero to make it a number. And that gives us a PE here for Apple of 2486. Center that. Okay, next we need dividend yield for this. Pretty much the same thing, except we're pulling from 8.2. And we're also timesing this at the end by 100. And that'll turn that yield into a number. Center this too. And then our EPS next year. For this, all the same. Table nine, row five, column six. And here we're also timesing by 100. Center that. All right, now our formula says we'll go equals PE divided parentheses, dividend yield plus EPS. Close parentheses, hit OK, and we can shrink this down 4.0. Okay, so this is greater than one. So we already know that this is not great for us or that Apple is overvalued, or so Peter Lynch would say. And we can throw a signal in here. We can close these cells. And here, because we want to get between zero and one, we'll go equals, we'll use ifs, E10 is greater than one, and cell. 10 is less than zero, but if it's a negative number, cell. And if B10 is less than one, then buy. Center that, put it in the middle, make it 14, bold. We'll go to our format, conditional formatting. If text is exactly, cell, make it red, buy, make it green. And we can throw a border around this cell, bigger, and show grid lines off. All right, let's test our formula. There are a few dividend names that I track on Dividend Radar, a couple videos of that previously posted. Take a look at a few of the Dividend Radar list names. So for this week, we had SNDR, that's a cell, UFPI, cell, DHI, cell, Carnival, buy, very nice, and SDLD, close, but no, and Winnebago, PW, PHM, nope, PSH, no. All right, as you can see, this is helpful in determining if a company is what Peter Lynch would call undervalued or not. Just another valuation tool to put in your arsenal and make the most informed buys. That's all I have for today. Hope this was helpful. Let me know if you'd like to see anything else and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.